Now, if you remember on old school, the last time we played, I became a teacher. I think that's the, uh, oops. Now, I have to remember the controls. McDickie did just update this game not too long ago and made the camera different, but this seems worse. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I have to remember the controls to this godforsaken game. My dad... Oh, the phone. I'll get the phone. I got the... Is the computer ringing? It's the computer. The computer is ringing. I did not answer it in time. I kicked the computer. I'm sorry, Dad. If I'm remembering right, my dad hates me. So I'll go ahead and hit him with a soccer ball. Okay, shattered glass came out of nowhere there. Oh, I meant to throw that at you. What's your problem, Mr. Tits? We're supposed to be on the same side. Oh, I guess me and my dad are on the same side now. It is the weekend, so there is no no school for us to go to. We are shaking hands with Monica Marquez. Somehow, we are in alliance with her. Where were you during sports class, Mr. Tits? Missing the practical brings their grade down to a D minus. I'm the teacher. What are you talking about, D minus? Why don't you check in with the rest of the staff to get paid, Mr. Tits? Okay, I would like to get paid. I hope you understand that being late reduced to your day's pay to $30. Weekends are for running people over. It seems that there are more sound effects added. Back off. I've got general genocide under control. That bonus... I don't know what, but there's a bonus for something. This is a disaster. Nobody asked for your help, Mr. Tits. Well, here's my help. The car. <laughs> the car of absolute destruction. All around it. Watch when you mess with Mr. Tits. Whack Axe happens to be a personal friend of mine. I don't think all the random audience sound effects when we're driving around in a car in the neighborhood is really necessary. Who's this cool kid here? Why does he like my ch I'm more popular than you, Mr. Tits. Don't start something you can't finish. He just picked up a motorcycle. Well, he just fell off it now. You may be more popular than me, but I got a tougher trophy than you. I don't know who I'm hitting right now, but I'm hitting somebody. Dude, I am an utter menace of destruction. I think it's time to go to bed. I think it's time to go back home. Wait, do I live there? Yes, that is my house. Hello, Dad. You picked the wrong fight, Mr. Tits. We'll see what the principal has to say about this. Okay, I'm getting a titty arm twister and getting sent to the office. School board has convened to hear the accusation against fat tits. No, it's Mr. Tits. I am a teacher now. I was once a student, and I went from a kindergarten student to a teacher in about five minutes. Mr. Tits has become so violent that even the staff aren't safe from his outburst. It was the weekend. We were out on the streets on the weekend. Well, we were at our own house, really. Teachers are always starting fights. They are, even though I am one. It's the perfect defense because we're talking like we aren't a teacher, so we're not lying. And it rules in my favor. Wait, no, it doesn't. It's the other Mr. Tits. We're all supposed to be on the same side here. We don't have any time for any infighting. Since violence is the only language you understand... We'll have to give you a beating to remember. Okay, that's my punishment, is getting beat. <laughs> <We're>... <laughs> wow. That is... That is gruesome. I am now pretty much dead. Wow, that's pretty fucked up. That was my own dad. My own dad beat me till I'm... Yep, I'm dying. This is how it ends. And we're home. I wonder if our dad will still be mad at us after everything that's happened. I don't even know why I go home. Andy's in my bedroom. Please don't hurt me. I can't take any more hurtings. 
Alright. Sleep. Dude, I'm still hurt as shit. How do I stop being hurt as shit? Amy, I need some help. What are, what are you doing? Can you help me, Amy? I don't know how I'm going to get to school in time. Can I eat this? This is a bell. Oh, it's snowing. Holy shit, they have seasons in this game? The most advanced game of all time is... Is old school. The Mc, McDicky game. It has seasons. An immersive world. Realistic classes. Is that a gun? Where were you in geography class, Mr. Tits? I had to step in. You won't be getting paid. Go fuck yourself, Dr. Hole. I think there's a gun laying on the floor. No, it's a microphone. I'd much rather probably eat this apple, though. Okay. Take my bell from me. That's okay. That was only my bell. I'm trying to eat. It's currently fashionable to have tattoos, but unfashionable to have good grade average. Anyone who fails to conform risks harming their popularity. Looks like you're struggling, Mr. Tits. Do you need a ride to the hospital? Uh, yeah, actually I do. Thank you. Yes, get me to the hospital. Thank you. Finally a good citizen in this world. Help me, Mr. Tits. I'm not sure I can handle Tommy Hawk. Tommy Hawk. I think it's Tony Hawk. Sure, I'll take care of him. Whatever, but I, I'm i actually not going to. I need to sleep. I need to lay in this bed. I don't know. Dude, did I just get ran over by a guy in a wheelchair? Looks like you lost control for a while there. You need to look after your mental health. You need to watch where you're driving. Okay, this guy seems to not care where he's driving with his wheelchair. Okay, thank you. Please take care of him. This hospital is the exact opposite of a hospital. Okay, can I move, please? You look a mess, Mr. Tits. Why don't you take a shower? Are you trying to shower with me, Gaylord, or, or what? Because I might. Okay, let's, let's sleep in this bed, please. Oh, that's productive. And we actually got enough sleep that, uh... I don't have too much time before class. No. Time to get up. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Let's get to class. We're actually gonna teach a class today. I'm too early for class. I'm gonna be waiting outside the gate for school to start. A tire. I am going to bring a wheel and tire to school today. For, for show and tell for my class. Okay, I don't like sitting down. The camera the camera goes 20 feet behind me, and I, I can't see anything. I think I gotta sit in the back of the class, actually, because then the camera won't be so stupid. Okay, maybe not. Is the principal even here? Where's the principal? He's not even at registration. What are, what are we doing? Am I the principal now? Okay, registration class is a complete dud. I don't want to leave and then come back in because I'll probably get bitched at for being late if it actually does load in correctly. What the fuck just happened? I wasn't paying attention. A notification popped up on my phone that distracted me. We didn't have a chance to get started today, so I'll have to work twice as hard as next time. Well, what do you mean? I sat here for two hours. Why are you the principal now? It's time to get your ass taught. Alright. Your your backpack is on fire, student. Fire! Everybody get out of here while you still can. No, I'm the teacher. It's alright. There's no fire alarm. Let me point out my tire. This dude's backpack spontaneously combusted. Alright, the phone's ringing. I need to drop my tire. Oh, throw it, actually. Who, whose phone's ringing? Hey, that's my tire. Where's the phone? Oh, I got it. Remember, you're on a mission to improve your history grade by 6 a.m. Okay, I don't know how I'm getting a grade. 
That was a very conveniently placed phone. Okay, where's my tire? Alright, she stole my tire and ran out of the class. This was all just a ploy. We're not, we're not teaching anything. Aren't I supposed to like... How do I fucking teach again? I forgot how to teach. There's a way to teach, but I don't know how. I think you, you focus on somebody. Like this guy. Hey, butthole. How do I focus on you? How come you're allowed to be late, but we have to be here on time? Alright, Akari, Akari Sashiko. Beating you with a fucking microphone. You're faster than me, Mr. Tits. I don't want any trouble with you. Then I suggest you shut your bitch ass mouth. God damn, she's like a she's a she's like a rock. Shut up. Good morning and welcome to sixth grade music. <laughs> I just beat up a sixth grader. We should practice playing music on the microphone. If you hold the taunt command while holding an instrument in either hand, you can try to play it. I'm D <laughs> I'm giving game instructions <laughs> to the comp the NPCs. Good afternoon, and welcome to 12th grade geography. Let's pick up the topic where we started last time. What is the capital of Saudi Arabia? What do you get from that, Matt Chismo? Um, hmm. Is this one of those situations where you're expected to say something like Jerusalem? I don't think that's uh, the capital of uh, Saudi Arabia. Even if that's not true, any suggestion is worthwhile if it makes you think. Okay, let's try Ned Lister. We're making good progress here, so let's see if we have any other answers. All right, hurry up, fat tits. We're running out of time. What is your instinct on that, Ned Lister? At least we have very creative ways to ask these questions. Is it true that the answer is Mecca? I don't know what to believe anymore. We can only get through like two things in a, an entire hour of class because fat tits says too much. I hope you're starting to get a clearer picture now and we'll wrap this up next lesson. Okay, what a productive day. Give me this broom. What, um, wait, oop, I need to, um, no, not sweep. We need to dismiss the class. Well, no, I guess we did, right? We dismissed the class. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the workshop. Yes, I am. Leave me alone. Where's the workshop? Shop. Stop. Everyone's shaking my hand. Sweeping changes in the workshop. Good afternoon and welcome to 11th grade crafts. We should get s practice our painting today. If you hold the tongue command near a canvas, you can turn your attention to painting it. Wow. Pretty cool. Well, okay, someone just threw a light bulb at me. It's now lodged in my left hand. Your efforts will gradually reveal... Who fucking threw this thing at me, by the way? Let me show you what I can paint to make your R grade look better. Give me this. Well, alright. So, turn my attention to a canvas. There we go. Wow, <laughs> look what I just painted. Back. <laughs> what is this? You just have to do the way you showed you. That keeps our crafts grade at an F. How wonderful. Let me guess, on the phone is... Mr. Oh, there's dynamite on the floor. Nope, that's not what I want. What is the capital of India? Says here the answer is New Delhi. <laughs> What a phone call they receive. <laughs> What's the capital of India? Stop picking up everything, fat tits. Glass dismissed. Break out the dancing lobsters. How do you ignite um, the dynamite? There's a lot of dynamite in here. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, man. I have another dynamite where that came from. Hmm. That blew up in another dimension. Hey, Mr. Tits, how would you like to buy this picture for $33? Uh, no, it's not worth $33. I'm the teacher here. Sorry, I can't go any lower than 33 So I'll have to find somebody else who needs a picture. Yeah, I guess that's 
That's the way business works sometimes. If you're looking for Dennis Studd, I saw him in the airport. I don't know why I'd be looking for him. All right, there we go. Just got a free painting. Remember, you're on a mission to improve your history grade by 6 a.m. I just saved $33 on this painting by stealing it. The school is closing soon, Mr. Tits. You better get home before they lock the gates. Well, you can just jump over them, Susie. Oh, I guess we're friends. No, I don't think we're friends. Do you think we're friends? No, we're not. This is what I do in the bathroom. I beat women up with a shovel. What's your problem, Mr. Tits? Don't touch me unless you want to fight. Thought that was already apparent. Oh, she's going to the pool. Dennis Stud. That's Dennis Stud. He doesn't seem to be too interested in anything. Let's go ahead and, uh, uh, no, that's a fire extinguisher, not a dynamite stick. Hey, Mr. Tits. Would you be willing to sell that extinguisher for $43? Okay, I will accept $43. It was a pleasure doing business with you. This extinguisher will be worth every penny. No, I'm kind of curious. What Did I have a really valuable extinguisher there? Okay. Well, there's another right there. Oh, shit. He caught it. He caught the dynamite. It didn't blow up. My strength just went down. Oh, going over this wall hurts you now. So there's actually implications for not making it through the gate when it's open. How many feet are there in a fathom? And who is dying in my classroom right now? If you don't know the answer, then you shouldn't be teaching math. Eight, perhaps? <laughs> well, it's a question. Okay, maybe we should ask these people in the in the right here that are fighting. We should practice playing the piano today. Okay. If you pull up a chair to the piano, you can hold taunt command to play it. Okay. Playing music is one of life's pleasures and will help to improve your mental state. Listen how I perform on the stage. So that we can remove, improve our music grade. This is beautiful. <laughs> this keeps our music grade at an F. <laughs> What's your problem, Mr. Tits? Don't touch me unless you want to fight. Give me that shovel. I think we're actually getting somewhere through this stage. My question is, can I become the principal at some point if I keep doing so well? Ah! <laughs> the shovel just caught fire. What happens if I hit somebody with a flaming shovel? Attention! <laughs> the member of staff, Mr. Tits, has been reported for arson. <laughs> Look at the picture of me. <laughs> Any member of staff who helps bring him to justice will be paid a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Attention! The member of staff, Mr. Tits, has been reported for assault. <laughs> Any member of staff who helps bring him to justice will be paid a bonus. I'm just making everybody rich. No, oh, I think I'm. I think I'm. I. I think I'm gonna get done in here. Hold up! Hold up! The staff. There's no way I survived this, right? Nope. There's no way I survived that. That was an all-out brawl to get me. Hey, I'm innocent. No, nope, we're not dead yet. Don't worry, Mr. Tits. I'll take care of Igor Oblisk for you. Thank you. I just lost my mind, so I'm probably going to hit you, and you're going to be mad at me. Wait. What are we doing? What, what was that? Okay, don't know what that was, but I think we just made love. Hey, who's kissing in here? Hey, you two! Stop! Oh wait, I'm filming it. Damn it! That's uh, I'm, I'm here to start class. Good morning and welcome to seventh grade crafts. We're going to turn up the heat today. If you hold the taunt command while picking up a smaller object, you can try to set fire to it. Ah, well, that's how I did it. 
This torch can then be used to set fire to larger furniture by bringing them into contact. This is actually some good uh, intellect here. But you must be careful around other people because flaming object hurts them twice as much. Let me show you how to start a fire to see if we can heat up our grade. Okay. Okay, if I hold the taunt command while picking up an object. Oh shit! I set my backpack! <laughs> it, takes, it takes our crafts grade up to an E. <laughs> oh, my tire! Hold up. Wait, no, that's a football. Wait, can I set the tire on fire? <laughs> I'm setting everything on fire! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> you shouldn't you dismiss us? <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think we should all stay in the burning room, to be honest with you. I think if you just walking walk near them, it sets on fire. Yeah, his painting's now on fire. Fire! Everybody <laughs> so threw a sign at him. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. Ah, uh, science. I think I've created a way to have perpetual fire because when the backpack goes out, the tire lights it, and then. When the tire goes out, the backpack light, lights it. So I have, like, infinite fire. I'm, oop, I just... <laughs> I just pissed my pants. I believe I just pissed all over. I heard you pissed yourself, Mr. Tits. Try to do it in the toilet next time. Well, thanks, Henry Clay. I'm glad you're the expert of fucking shitting. <laughs> we may not like each other, Mr. Tits, but there's something you could do to change that. What is that, Clint? You need to find a first grade student named Harry Horn. So do you think you could try? Yeah, okay, I got you, dude. I got you, brother. <laughs> I'm finally reported for arson. As I'm menacingly rubbing my hands together, I think I need to get out of school. <laughs> now that I've uh, been reported. Because it usually means that... Um... Okay, we got we got some problems here. I'll take care of Redneck Roasting for you. Thank you. We have a small fire going on all around me. Okay. I'm supposed to punish you for arson. You're gonna let it slide? <laughs> I, I can see you've already suffered enough, so I'll let you go with a warning this time. Wow, thanks. Attention, fifth grade student Sumo Ray has been reported for arson. Sumo Ray is now getting blamed for it as he sits in the corner alone without any fire on him. I just wanna pick this up so I can set it on fire. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> teacher's going. Going to ape shit on that little kid. Oop, threw my fire tire. Can I set this flag on fire? That'd be very. Oh, it's the British flag. It's okay. <laughs> the broom setting on fire in the guy's hand is what triggered it. Okay, I need to run, because I think I'm about to get... <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I think I need to go home. Wait, let's go to science. Let's see if we can teach our class still. Hey, Harry. Wait, oh, I found that guy. Thanks for getting word to me, Mr. Tits. You can tell Clint everything is under control. Okay, whatever. Jimmy Neutron. I'm no longer on fire. Let's get in science class before... They come and get me. <laughs> I'm guessing holding space while picking up dynamite is how you trigger it to, to blow up when you throw it. 
Turn yourself in already, Mr. Tits. You're making it worse for everybody else. These students know they're in a classroom with a criminal right now. I've lost control, so... We're just at Fat Tits Mercy here. Well, we're gonna die... We're gonna die when they go to to get me for arson. The, the, the ringy dingy is still going. Mr. Tits almost killed us by setting fire to a picture. I was trying to put the fire out. I wasn't the one who started it. If this fire was an accident, let's just be glad we extinguished it in time. It was an accident. He doesn't seem very happy about that. Okay, I'm going to bed. I don't know what I accomplished in this session of playing Hard Time, but I think I've accomplished enough.